six carbohydrates. Carbohydrate is a macronutrient. Plant food is the most important source of carbohydrate. There are three types of carbohydrate, sugar, starch and dietary fibre, also known as NSP, non-starch polysaccharide. Starch is a complex carbohydrate made of long chains. Starch is the main source of energy for plants. It is broken down during digestion to glucose and used for energy in the body. Dietary fibre, NSP, non-starch polysaccharide. This is the part of the plant that gives strength and structure. It cannot be digested by the body, but is important in the diet for helping the body get rid of waste and keeping our bowels healthy. Adults need 18 grams of fibre a day. Starchy foods that are especially high in dietary fibre are wholemeal bread, beans, lentils, wholemeal pasta, wholemeal flour and breakfast seals, cereals that contain bran and oats. Starchy foods provide other important nutrients as well as starch and dietary fibre. Bread contains protein, B vitamins and calcium. Rice and pasta are both high in protein and low in fat. Pulses such as beans and lentils are excellent source of protein and vitamin A. We should eat lots of starchy, fibre-rich foods and cut down on our sugary foods. Half of our energy every day should come from starchy foods. They add bulk to our diet and help, us to, help to fill us up so we're less likely to eat fatty and sugary snacks. Sugars. Examples of sugars are sucrose, the sugar we use in drinks and other foods, fructose, the sugar in fruit, glucose, lactose, milk sugar, and maltose. Simple sugars are known as monosaccharide, mono meaning single, saccharide meaning sugar. Fructose, they come from fruits, fruit juices and honey. Glucose, that's the sugar used in drinks and cooking. And galactose comes from milk. Double sugars are known as disaccharides, di as in double, saccharide as in sugar. Sucrose, granulated sugar, caster sugar, brown sugar, they all come from sugar cane or sugar beet. Lactose, milk and some dairy products such as yoghurt. And maltose, barley and added as malt to some types of malted biscuits and drinks such as Ovaltine. We also use sugars in drinks and biscuits, cakes and puddings to sweeten and sometimes improve the texture. This type of sugar provides empty calories. It provides us with energy but has no other nutrients. Many foods contain hidden sugars. Soups, sauces, breakfast cereals, yogurts all contain sugar where we wouldn't expect to find them. Sugar encourages tooth decay. To prevent tooth decay we need to cut down on sticky sugary foods, especially between meals. Change for Life is a government campaign to help us eat better and be more active. There are many ways of cutting our sugar intake. We could choose lower in sugar options or food labels as reduced sugar. We could choose fruit instead of sugary snacks. We could choose sugar-free drinks and foods, but many of these may have artificial sweetener added instead of sugar. We could use an artificial sweetener instead of sugar. The Eat Well plate shows how, how much carbohydrate, remember that's the yellow section, we should have compared to other foods. Too much carbohydrate, if we eat too much carbohydrate and do not use up the energy we've consumed, the body will store the excess energy as fat under the skin. Too little carbohydrate, if we eat, don't eat enough carbohydrate food, our bodies will use the fat and protein foods to provide energy. If the body uses the fat stored as body fat, we will get thinner. The glycemic index, GI, is a measure of the effects of carbohydrate on blood glucose, sugar, levels. Carbohydrates break down during digestion and release glucose into the bloodstream. Some heart carbohydrates break down quickly during digestion and release glucose quickly into the bloodstream. These have a high GI. Examples of these foods include potatoes, croissants, cornflakes and white bread. Some carbohydrate foods break down slowly, reducing glucose gradually into the bloodstream. 
These are low GI. Foods with a low GI have health benefits. Eating foods low in GI during the day provide lasting energy. Examples of fruit, vegetables, whole grain bread, pasta, beans, lentils and milk.